In this clip, we're going to be talking about pre-composing and After Effects. Pre-composing is the ability to create a composition inside a composition. If you're confused, let me demonstrate this so it can become a little bit more easier to understand. In this composition, I have a few different layers and one composition. So what do I mean? When you start a composition, you bring in some different elements. Now, one of the reasons why you might want to pre-compose is so you can apply one effect to all the elements, similar to an adjustment layer. Pretty much the whole purpose to pre-compose inside of After Effects is for you to have the ability to control a lot of layers under one simple layer. So in order to pre-compose, we need to select all the layers that we want pre-composed. In this case, I'm gonna select my last layer. I'm gonna go to my first layer and holding shift and left click, it's gonna automatically select all my layers. There's two ways to pre-compose. We can go to layer, pre-compose, and you can also see that we have a control shift C as a keyboard shortcut. Or we can also right click on all the layers and simply select pre-compose. Once we select pre-compose, a new window will appear so we can name the composition. You can rename your composition. So right off the back, we have a few different options and these options are activated depending on what we're pre-composing. In this case, we only have the option to move all the attributes to the new composition and that is because we are selecting multiple layers. For now, I'm gonna hit okay and you'll see that inside our first composition, which had the name Chinese for the Chinese theater in Hollywood, now has one composition inside. And if I double click this, you'll see that this new composition named Comp has all the layers previously on this first Chinese composition. So what we did is we simply moved all the layers to a new composition, and that composition is located inside our first composition. So now if I wanted to apply any effects to this composition, let's say I want to go to my color correction group and in here I'm going to select auto contrast and I'm going to apply it to that layer. You'll see that the automatically the entire composition has that effect. So now this composition is taken as if it was one single layer. So now if I add any masks to this layer, the mask is applied to this one composition and not all the layers inside of it. I'm gonna select the mask and I'm gonna delete it for now. And now I'm gonna show you another thing. Since now I had previously applied an auto contrast to this comp, so if I wanted to pre-compose this composition again, for whatever reason it may be, let's say I right click and I hit pre-compose, you'll see that now this time I do have these two options. Now. The first option we used was move all attributes, which takes all the information and it pre-composes into that composition. This time we do have the option to leave all attributes. So what it does is if we select this and we hit OK, you'll see that a new composition is created on top of the original composition and now there's more compositions inside. However, that original composition no longer contains the original auto contrast effect. That effect stayed on top of the new pre-comp that we just made, which is located on the original composition. Now, this might be a bit confusing right now because you're just starting in After Effects. So just imagine that you can take a bunch of layers, put them all together, and mix them in one layer. That's what pre-composition is. Whatever the reason you may use it for, that's up to you. There's no right or wrong way on how do you pre-compose or the reason why you pre-compose. I hope with this information you have an idea of how to use your pre-compositions or why might you want to use them. Pre-composing is always a good idea whether you're applying new effects, whether you want to control a bunch of layers under one layer, it's always a great idea to have a pre-composition. Okay, so those are the basics of pre-composing in After Effects. I hope you guys were able to learn something, so please make sure you hit that like button so I can continue to make more videos. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. I'll see you in the next clip.